Oi. Today, I will teach you how to create a text with a neon effect totally free. By following a few simple steps, you'll be able to create animated neon titles like these, and thus give your videos a modern and eye-catching touch. Let's see how it's done. Once inside DaVinci Resolve, you must place the playhead on top of the video clip or image in which we want to put the title with a neon effect. Next, we go to the Fusion module, clicking on this icon of the magic wand, before starting with the effect, I recommend having both viewers activated. By clicking on this icon, you can toggle between one or two viewers. We will activate both viewers. In the right viewer, we can see the final result, and in the left viewer, we will use it to configure the text. Perfect! Now, we will add our text. To add it, we just have to click on the Text Plus icon. When clicked, a text node will appear. In order to see the text in the viewer on the left, we must activate this small circle on the left in the text mode. Now, we're going to create our title. With the text node selected, we go to the inspector panel, and within the text menu, we can write the text we want. I'm going to write Super Neon. You can apply the neon effect to any font, but I recommend you choose one that's striking. For example, this could look good. We increased the size of the text so it's not so small, like this. In this text, we have to change the color to black. This text will appear when the neon lights are off. We need it to be black in order to achieve this flickering effect. Great! Next, we'll connect the text one node, like this. We click on this square and we connect it right on the square of the median one node. In this way, it will automatically create a merge node for us to be able to join the two nodes. We already have the first text to use when the neon is off. Now, we're going to create the text with the neon light. The first step is to duplicate the text. Right-click on the text node, copy, and paste. Perfect! We already have the duplicate text. Now we have to connect this new text node. We do it the same as before. Click on the square of the node and connect it with the square of the Merge 1 node so that it creates a new Merge node automatically. It's time to create the neon effect. The first step is to choose the color of our neon light. I recommend that you use a striking color. For example, I'm going to use a light blue. I think it can look quite good. Next, we click on the text node and press the keys Control space or command space if you're using Mac. By pressing this keyboard shortcut, a menu will appear with the effects browser. We must look for the effect Glow. Select the effect and click Add. We see that under the text node, the node with the glow effect has appeared. We will not modify anything in this first node. We click on the Glow 1 node and press the Control space keyboard shortcut again. And we add another glow effect. In this second glow node, we will modify one parameter. Select the glow 2 node and go to the inspector panel. In the glow effect menu, we will increase the glow size option. Increase it to a value of 50. This way, we will get this brightness next to the edge of the letters. Perfect. We only have to add the last node. We click on the Glow 2 node, press Control space, and create a third node with the glow effect. Here we have it, Glow 3. We select the node and increase the glow size parameter to a value of 150 or 200. In this way, the neon light will illuminate a larger area. I'm going to try increasing it to 200. That's perfect. Finally, if you want to increase or decrease the intensity of the light, you can do it in the blend parameter. Configure the brightness power to your liking. We already have the neon light finished. Now, we just need to add the flicker effect to give it an extra touch. We have to place ourselves in the first frame of the video, in frame zero, and select the Merge 2 node, where we can deactivate and activate all the glow effects. We select the Merge 2 node and go to the Settings menu. Here, we must create a keyframe in the Blend option. To create a keyframe, we just have to click on this little rhombus here. When creating the keyframe, 
The rhombus will appear in red, and then we lower the value of blend to zero. How can you see? We have to turn the text black with the lights off. We move forward one or two frames. And we create a keyframe in blend again, but this time with the value of 100 to activate the glow effects and turn on the neon light. We go forward one or two frames again and create another keyframe by lowering the blend value to zero. We need to do this a few times to get the flickering effect of the lights. You can vary, advance one frame, later advance two, so the blinking effect will be different and it will look better. At the end, if you want, you can add some other part with flicker. For example, I'm going to put another flicker here. Okay, let's see the final result. Super neon. If you ask me, it's super neon. Yes, the As always, here I leave you with the free DaVinci Resolve course, where you'll learn to make a lot of incredible effects. See you in the next video.